The military revolt of July 18th ignites the revolutionary flame in the cities where the army is defeated. Members of union organizations and anti-fascist parties volunteer to form part of the popular militias. The women, loyal to ideals and politics of equality, stimulated by the Spanish Republic and European feminist movements, understand that the war against fascism is a fight in which the new role of women as independent citizens is in serious danger of being annihilated. In August 1936, an ambitious project was started in Barcelona, the creation of the female militia, a unit formed exclusively by women where men had no part. On August 16th, the first female battalion embarks from the port of Barcelona with the aim of recovering the island of Mallorca that still remains in the hands of the fascists. Among them, five women become the protagonists of this story. Dear Mum and Dad, we arrived in Menorca safely and we think we're staying here for some days. I felt seasick, but now I'm feeling good. Yesterday, I couldn't send you a telegram. This is the first letter which the sisters Bouchardé sent to their parents. Their testimony will not be the only one. Together with Daria and Mercedes, there are three more women, Teresa, Maria Garcia, and the unknown authoress of a strange diary. After 15 days of fighting, the five women are abandoned on the island together with other companions, as a result of the hasty and sudden reloading of the Republican troops returning to the peninsula. Detained soon after by the fascists, they will be violated, tortured, and finally shot to death in Manacor. A photo taken by their murderers just before they killed them has allowed us to know their faces, but not their identities. Esta me parece que era la segunda por la izquierda. Que nosotras la admirábamos mucho porque era muy bella. Ya cuando marchaban de milicianas, que ya llevaban como un mono que les habían dado, como milicianos del ejército, pero mujeres. Pero yo solo entonces dijeron eso, que les habían llevado a Mallorca y las habían hundido de un barco, pero no que las habían matado. An intense investigation not only found out the name of the five women, but also answered many of the questions that for so long had surrounded this case. To know their identities allows us to look back and to value the active and key participation of women as soldiers during the Spanish Civil War. <laughs>